Well, traders, I'm just uh, done with my trading session for today. As you can see, I'm up $15,000 and that's great for a Monday. Really love to start my week with uh, some kind of a profit cushion. I did start today with two trades in Tesla. The first one was a loser. Second one covered my loss and a little bit more in profits. I was down maybe five or six grand, I believe, in Tesla earlier and uh, managed uh, my second trade. Uh, to have like a six or seven points winner, I can't remember exactly. Anyway, I had a good trade, second trade in Tesla, which uh, finished in green. NVAX was an amazing trade for me, and um, that's uh, the one I want to discuss alongside with INO, although INO was a very small winner. So let's take a look at NVAX here. NVX uh, started with a gap down today, came down, beautiful bear flag formation here, where I posted it for a short in the trading room under 78.40. That was right over here, and it did move under the lows and touched the 78 mark. That was not enough. I was risking more than 40 cents. Of course, I couldn't take a 40 or 30 cents. I can't remember exactly how much I had by then. Partial. It's just impossible. I, I was supposed to wait for it to break down under 78, which it did not initially. Why? Because that's a whole number. Why? Because there's usually a whole lot of people at whole numbers buying stocks and then it just bounced, as you can see, and quite a big bounce. And I waited for it to cool down. When a stock is bouncing from the lows and looks as bad as NVEX, you know, it was a, approximately the same level it is now. I mean, the stock is down 4%. Then you don't think it's likely to move higher. You just give it some space and wait for it to come down. But what I did do, seeing earlier that it was very close to breaking down under 78, but it did not, I added when it was close to 78 at around 78.10 I added in fact I doubled my size and some of my biggest winners are at the points where I'm doubling my size because I trust the stock to move uh, down or in fact in this case to break down under $78 and why did I trust it to break down under $78 in fact adding before it broke down under $78 because it moved higher and it failed to move higher now the more it moves higher and then comes down, and it made quite a big move here, then it's more likely for it to fail. So you're looking at the stock that is down 4%. Let's talk about market direction soon. But you're looking at the stock that is down 4%, and you're looking at uh, an attempt to move higher, and it's failing, and it's coming back down again. It's very, very likely. Like I would give it like 80% chance to break down under 78, and it did just that, and had a beautiful, beautiful two points move here. Look at that. That's $72. That's why my added, in fact, my doubled quantity did so well as uh, being over 11000 In fact, with my open trades, um, just around $12,000 in NVX. So it's re it really did do good. But let's talk a little bit about INO. That's not a huge winner for me. It's not a big mover too. But I wanted to talk about this one because of the market direction. You know, uh, INO uh, was posted for short and INO did really work uh, uh, quite nicely. Actually, sorry, it was posted for short here under 20.05 at this point right over here. Now, if you look at that time, that would be at around 10.20. Now, if you take a look at uh, the market at uh, 10.20, which is right over here, you can see that the market moved from the highs to the lows. Now, what does that mean? The S&P 500 moved initially up very, very strong. And then, f quite a surprising move, it moved down. You don't know what's coming next, but you definitely think that uh, trend is about to change. It's, I'm not sure about uh, the results right now, but you definitely think that trends are about to change, and you start looking for a short. When you see a big move from the highs, look at this topping tail here. When you see a big move from the highs, down to the lows and under the lows, well, you should be thinking that we're likely to continue down. Now, if you've got yourself a big move like that, look for a stock that is relatively weak. Uh, some of the stocks that are posted in the room, uh, like Tesla, for example, should we short Tesla? There was a question here in the room earlier. No, we should not because Tesla is up 7%. You do not short uh, stocks which are relatively strong. You look for a stock that is relatively weak, like for example, INO. And we shorted it at 20.05. It, it's a small mover. It didn't do that great. I mean, like uh, 35 cents. I took a partial at 25 cents. So 
<laughs> it did uh, pay me like eight hundred dollars. But uh, the thing is, it worked out, although the market was not very clear. The market did come down under the lows, but you know when a stock is relatively weak, like I know is 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 down quite a bit today. When a stock is relatively weak, it could do well even without market direction. So even if I was wrong about market direction, and I'm not really sure I was right about market direction because it did come down under the lows, but it did not continue. The Nasdaq now I see that just moved over the high. So I'm not sure the market's going to continue coming down as I assumed it would. It would. Now that's the interesting part about it because even if I'm wrong about market direction, and let's just assume that I am wrong about market direction, right now I am anyway, I know did well. I did get my partial in INO and, and, and it still is where approximately I took it. So the thing is with INO, it can fail because it's down quite a bit. INO is down and therefore more likely to continue down even without market support. So if I'm mistaken about market direction, INO could still make it. That's why you short a stock that is relatively weak. If you short a stock that's relatively weak, even if I'm if you're wrong about market direction, you could still make a few dollars, uh, or have a smaller loser, or whatever you call it. So that's the most important part I wanted to discuss today. Uh, that's my smallest winner, but that's probably the most important thing I want to discuss today. So anyway, I'm starting well for Monday, and uh, I wish you well, and uh, just enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. So thank you very much, uh, traders, for being here with me. Thank you guys on YouTube for participating. And if you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that would help. Uh, and then I see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.